Do you know needles are the lifeline of a sewing machine? They are. They're like 50% of the seam. So on the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960, I'm going to show you the key to changing your needles. And also, we'll link right up here to this little eye in the upper right corner to all of our needle videos. We have a whole playlist of different kinds of needles. Needles that you would use for, say, different kinds of fabric or different kinds of thread. And so those do need to all kind of coordinate together. But on this machine, you were in, you were given an extra pack of feet and in that bonus pack was this this is awesome this actually has a little hole on the end that can help catch the needle when we go to take it out so you can actually slide this little guy up the needle so when you loosen it you are catching it. Now notice I also have a piece of fabric underneath my foot. So if I was to just loosen the needle, it wouldn't fall into the machine. Little tip there. Then you can have two screwdrivers in this uh, that came with your Singer. And I use the longer one. So I'm gonna loosen this just enough so if I wiggle this, the needle comes out. Now the nice thing with this is that it holds the flat side to the back. So when I go to put my new needle in, I'm gonna set it in so, and I can feel that the flat side's here so that means it doesn't spin around as I'm trying to get it situated. This tool will also assist for making sure that you get it all the way up as high as it will possibly go. And I'm gonna show you at the end how we can tell and test whether that needle is at the highest position. So hold it up, gently tighten this screw. Now I say gently because if you over tighten it, you're gonna find that this can actually wear out. So you need that happy medium and whatever that is for you. That means that it's tight enough that the needle won't come out, but it's also not too tight that you're starting to uh, wear on the screw and the mechanism there. So how do we know if that needle is tight enough or high enough? You will find that your needle threader will be lined up with that hole if it is. Now do make sure that your needle is in the highest position. So if you need to cycle through, needle up, needle down, and now do that little test. Of course, you're gonna need to thread the needle anyway. So definitely use that feature to see if the needle is in the highest position. So if you ever have any thread breaks, some hiccups in your threading, it's usually just the needle. So I always say we need to clean out underneath the throat plate every three to five bobbins. You definitely wanna change and put a new needle in when you're doing that. But if you ever hit a pin or you see something that's not coming out nice and smooth, just put a new needle in. Trust me, that's what your machine is asking for.